Welcome students, we are given this question 3 raised to the power a being equal to 5 raised to the power b is equal to 225 and we are expected to evaluate a b over a positive b. Now I will be showing you four different methods to solve the same question and you can also think and put in your methods in the comment section if you come across anything different. So having mentioned this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to first start by considering we are given this that 3 raised to the power a is equal to 5 raised to the power b. Now I will be taking ln both sides. So that would give me ln 3 raised to the power a is equal to ln of 5 raised to the power b. I can rewrite this as a times of ln 3 is equal to b times of ln 5. Now let me rewrite it in this fashion b times ln 5 is equal to a times ln 3 and I can obtain the value of b from here so that is going to be a times ln 3 over ln 5. So what I want to do is I want to push this a down over here so that would mean I would now have b over a is equal to ln 3 over ln 5. So this is the expansion or I would say this is the value of b over a. Now after obtaining the value of b over a what I wish to do is I would want to consider now 5 raised to the power b is equal to 225 because it's given here. Now I would want to rewrite 225 as 9 multiplied with 25. I can rewrite 9 as 3 squared and I can rewrite 25 as 5 squared. On the left I've got 5 raised to the power b. Now what I wish to do is I would want to move this 5 squared down so that would give me 5 raised to the power b over 5 squared is equal to 3 squared. I can move 5 squared up so that would mean I now have 5 raised to the power b multiplied in fact, when I move this, it's going to be a negative power. Let me write that step down. 5 raised to the power negative 2 is equal to 3 squared. I can further rewrite this as 5 raised to the power b negative 2 is equal to 3 squared. Now, I would want to take ln both sides. So that would give me ln of 5 raised to the power b negative 2 is equal to ln of 3 squared. Now I would be using the property of logarithm ln of a raised to the power b is equal to b times ln a. So by this property I can rewrite this as b negative 2 times ln 5 is equal to 2 times ln 3. Now this is actually a product. Now I can move this down so that would give me b negative 2 is equal to 2 times ln 3 over ln 5. I can move this 2 on the other side and that was going to give me b is equal to 2 times ln 3 over ln 5 positive 2. So I've got a value for b here and I've got a value for b over a. Now we are expected to evaluate a b over a positive b. Now I'm going to rewrite that a b over a positive b as b over 1 positive b over a. Now if you were to, I just want to show that to you, if you want to take the LCM this is going to be a positive b divided by a and I've got a b there. If you were to flip it this is going to be a b over a positive b. So I've not done anything I've just rearranged. Now what I wish to do is I would want to substitute the value of b which is 2 times ln 3 over ln 5 positive 2. So let me rewrite that ln 3 2 times ln 3 over ln 5 positive 
2, this is the value for B, and then I would substitute the value for B over A, which is ln 3 divided by ln 5. Now this is equal to, now if I were to take the LCM, it's going to be 2 times ln 3 positive 2 times of ln 5 divided by ln 5. This is what I'm going to get. And over here, if I were to take the LCM, this is going to be ln 5 positive ln 3 divided by ln 5. I can rewrite this as 2 times ln 3 positive ln 5 divided by ln 5 over this is ln 5 positive ln 3 over ln 5. Now clearly the quantities can be cancelled which I have I have got because once I flip this the denominator ln 5 and ln 5 can be cancelled because if I were to flip it and rewrite it, this is exactly going to be 2 times of ln 3 positive ln 5 over ln 5. If upon flipping, this is going to be ln 5 over, I'm going to write this as ln 3 positive ln 5. So this is why I am able to cancel the terms. Now I can also cancel ln 3 positive ln 5 and rewrite this as 2. Now actually, technically speaking, we shouldn't be cancelling. Sh the best way to use it is the term removing ln. Okay, so that is the acceptable way. But uh, just to be a little bit more clear in explaining this, I have just cancelled it. So this is the solution. Now, the point is, if you were to find the reciprocal or if you were to flip this, instead of finding AB over A positive B, if you were to find A positive B over AB, you would get the value as 1 over 2. That is the beauty of it. Now, since I have given this method, let me move on to show you the same question using another method. Now, this is method 2. Now what I wish to do is I would want to take 3 raised to the power a to be equal to 15 squared because 15 squared is 225. Now I'm going to rewrite this by means of uh, taking ln both sides. So if I were to take ln both sides I would get uh, ln ln of 3 raised to the power a is equal to ln of 15 squared. Again, using the properties and logarithms, I can rewrite this as a times ln 3 is equal to 2 times ln 15. Now, I can rewrite ln 15 as uh, 5 multiplied with 3. Right now, there is a property in logarithms. So you got ln a b, and you can rewrite this as ln a positive ln b. You can do that. So if you were to do that, this is equal to two times of ln of five positive ln of three. And on the left, you got a times of ln three. Now I'm going to move this ln 3 down, so I, um, I would be getting a is equal to 2 times of ln 5 positive ln 3 divided by ln 3. This is what I would be getting. And if I were to group them by algebra, say a positive b over a, I can always rewrite it as a over a positive b over a, which is 1 positive b over a. If I were to do that, I, I would be having 2 times of uh, ln 5 over ln 3, positive ln 3, ln 3, and that would be as 1. Now what I wish to do is, uh, I would want to take ln 5 over ln 3 to be equal to x. So that would mean I would, get, I would have 2 times of x positive 1, which is equal to a. Now, similarly, what I wish to do is, I would be also considering consider 
5 times of b is equal to 2 to 5. Now, if I were to do that, then clearly I would end up with b being equal to 2 times 2 times of ln 5 over ln 3. This would actually be ln 3 over ln 5 positive 1 which is nothing but 2 times of ln 3 over ln 5. I've taken ln 5 over ln 3 as x so this is going to be 1 over x. This is the value for b positive 1. So I've got an a and a b. So now what I wish to do is I would want to find out the value of the quantity. Now we were asked to find a b over a positive b. So let me first uh, consider consider a b. Now my a is 2 times of uh, x positive 1. My b is same 2. So that 2 can be squared here. So that's going to be 1 over x positive 1. If I were to rewrite this, it's going to be 4 times of x into 1 over x. So that's going to give me 1. x times 1, that's going to give me x. 1 times 1 over x, that's going to give me 1 over x. And 1 times 1 is going to give me 1. So this is equal to 4 times of 2 positive 1 will give me 2 positive x positive 1 over x. So this is my a, b. Now what I wish to do is I wish to find now consider a positive b. So a positive b is equal to my a is 2 times of x positive 1. My b is 2 times of 1 over x positive 1. If I were to take 2 out, I would have x positive 1 over x positive 1 plus 1. That's going to be 2. So this is what I would get. Now, therefore, ab over a positive b is equal to my ab is 4 times of 2 positive x positive 1 over x divided by my a positive b is 2 times of x positive 1 over x positive 2. Both these things can be cancelled. 2 divides for 2 times. So this is the value for this quantity. Now for the third method, what I wish to do is I would want to consider 3 raised to the power a to be equal to 2 to 5 and simultaneously 5 raised to the power b is equal to 2 to 5. So from here I can rewrite 3 as 2 to 5 raised to the power of 1 over a. From here I can rewrite 5 to be as 2 to 5 raised to the power of 1 over b. Okay. So now if I were to multiply 1 with 2, if let me take this as 1, let me take this as 2. Multiplying 1 with 2, this would give me 3 times 5 is equal to 2 to 5 raised to the power of 1 over a multiplied with 2 to 5 raised to the power 1 over b. Now on the left we got 15. On the right this is nothing but a raised to the power m times a raised to the power n which is a raised to the power m positive n. So using this I can rewrite this as 2 to 5 raised to the power 1 over a plus 1 over b which is 2 to 5 raised to the power of a positive b divided by a b. This is what I have got. Now 15 can be rewritten as 2 to 5 raised to the power of 1 over 2 and that is equal to 2 to 5 raised to the power of a positive b divided by a b. So equating the indices this would mean 1 over 2 is equal to a positive b divided by a b this in turn would mean AB over A positive B is equal to 2, which is the same answer which we've got. Now this is the third method. Now the final method is also using logarithms. So I've got 3 raised to the power A is equal to 2 to 5. I'm going to take base 3 log for this. So this is going to give me log log 3 raised to the power a is equal to log of 2 to 5. I'm taking base as 3. I can rewrite this as a times log of 3 to the base 3 is equal to log of 2 to 5 to the base 3. Now there is a f property log of a to the base a 
is equal to 1. Using this, this is going to be a equal to log of 2 to 5, with the base being 3. Now, similarly, I can rewrite 5 raised to the power b is 2 to 5. I'm going to take uh, the base to be as 5. So, if I were to take the base to be as 5, my b would be log of 2 to 5 to the base 5. Now, this is base 3, this is base 5. So, what we are going to do, we are going to use the change of base property in log which is nothing but if you got something like this log a to the base b I can rewrite this as log a to the base 10 some base you can use and that divided by log b to the base 10 so in this case I'm using base 10 so that's why I have used 10 at the base so using this base 10 is preferable now using this I can rewrite a therefore a is going to be log of 2 to 5 to the base 10 over log of 3 to the base 10 and my b is going to be log of 2 to 5 to the base 10 over log of 5 to the base 10. So now we can find out a b over a positive b now which is equal to substitute the values this is log of 2 to 5 I don't have to specify the basis you don't have to specify the basis when you're using base 10. So just substitute the value of a, so it's going to be log 2 to 5 divided by log 3 and that has to be multiplied with log of 2 to 5 divided by log of 5. This has to be divided by a, a is log of 2 to 5 divided by log 3 added with b, my b is log of 2 to 5 divided by log 5. Now this is equal to, now you have uh, two logs there, so I'm just going to retain it as it is. So this is going to be log, log of 2 to 5 and that has to be multiplied with log of 2 to 5 with the denominator being log 3 times log 5. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the LCM. So if I were to take the LCM, now you have log 2 to 5 added with log 2 to 5. So that means we can have log 2 to 5 as a common quantity, common factor. If I were to take the LCM, I would get log 5 plus log 3 divided by log of 3 times log of 5. Now if you were to observe the denominator, log 3, log 5, log 3, log 5, they get removed. So that would mean I would now have log of 2 to 5 times log of 2 to 5. I don't have to place this since I've already mentioned to you. And that has to be divided with log of 2 to 5 times log of 5 positive log 3. Now log a plus uh, log b can be rewritten as log of a b from properties of logarithm. So I'm going to rewrite this as log of 15. Now log 2 to 5, log 2 to 5, they get removed. So now I have log 2 to 5 divided by log of 15. Now log 2 to 5 can be rewritten as log of 15 squared divided by log 15. So log of 15 squared is nothing but 2 times log 15 divided by log 15. Now they get removed giving my answer as 2. So this is the final method students. So I wish to pose a question to you. Now if in case can I generalize this result? If in case if I'm able to have something like this x raised to the power a is equal to y raised to the power b if it is equal to x raised to the power n times y raised to the power n. Can I write a b over a positive b is equal to n? Is it okay? Can I generalize these results? Please put in your comments. Thank you students.